Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel that takes you deep inside the San Francisco 49ers. I am Jack Hammer. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the 49ers passing game. And there's been a lot of discussions around the 49ers passing attack this off season. Really what it's revolving around is the lack of passing yards for the 49ers. You know, there's been discussions whether it's uh, quarterbacks over the fact that the 49ers haven't had a quarterback since Jeff Garcia uh, back in the early 2000s, who's thrown for over 4,000 yards or the fact that they're just not bombs away like some of these other teams are around the league. So you look at the 49ers total yardage on, in the passing game, 2019, 2021, 2023, those are the years that they went to a Super Bowl and back-to-back -back NFC Championship games. And the 49ers in those seasons ranked 13th, 14th, and 13th in total yards passing. Yeah, middle of the road, right? The thing is, when you look at total passing yards, it doesn't take into account the number of attempts that a team throws the ball. You know, the 49ers are a little bit different. Kyle Shanahan wants to run the ball. They believe in being physical up front. This is something that Steve Wilkes talked about recently when he spoke with reporters uh, prior to the 49ers rookie minicamp practice that we were able to see. And the 49ers just go about their business in a little bit different way. And so, when you start to look at it, I think really the best way to measure a team's effectiveness when it comes to their passing game is net yards per pass attempt. And here's why. One, the 49ers and some teams, everybody's throwing it at different rates in terms of the number of passes they attempt. Net yards per attempt takes your total yards passing. It also takes your sacks and the number of times your quarterback was sacked. It takes your total yards passing, subtracts the sack yardage, and it gives you the net. So what that's really showing you is the effectiveness of that team's passing attack. Now, the 49ers in 2019 ranked third best in the NFL on the way to getting to the Super Bowl. Jimmy Garoppolo played every game that year. In 2021, Jimmy Garoppolo and Trey Lance worked together to give the 49ers the top net yards per pass attempt. That's right, they were the best in the NFL in net yards per attempt in 2021. They got to the NFC Championship game. Last year, 2022, three quarterbacks, Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Brock Purdy combined to give the 49ers the third best net yards per pass attempt. That's pretty darn good. Now, in terms of the reason why the 49ers maybe haven't won the Super Bowl or the downside of that, well, one of those, Jimmy Garoppolo missing a wide open wide receiver in the Super Bowl. Can't have that. Missed some wide open receivers late in, the, in that game as well when the 49ers had a lead, even before that MIG missed down the middle to Emmanuel Sanders. 2021, you had the drop by Drukowski Tart. Jimmy Garoppolo missed a couple of throws. And then last year in 2022, Brock Purdy gets knocked out. The other thing to think about is a lot of people talk about the 49ers in their short passing game and how much Yak um, is responsible for the 49ers passing attack. And I just think it's interesting to note, I've been around watching the 49ers since 1980. That's when I first went to Candlestick Park. And the term yak, yards after catch, the team that that was coined after, that's right, your San Francisco 49ers under Bill Walsh. That's where the term yards after catch came from. It was actually, well, Bill Walsh was the coach in San Francisco. A lot of short passes getting turned into big yards. Yes, Jerry Rice has a number of deep throws from Joe Montana, other quarterbacks, Steve Young, other quarterbacks. There's also a number of times though you turn on the film and you see Jerry Rice catching the ball five yards downfield, making the defense miss and streaking to the end zone for a 60 plus yard touchdown. So just think about that for a minute. Yards after catch came from the 49ers. Your 49ers actually have one of the best passing attacks over the last four years as well in terms of net yards per pass attempt, which as I mentioned earlier, I think is the best way to measure the effectiveness of a team's passing attack. So take it for what it's worth. Hope you're having a great day. Before you leave, if you can do me a favor, hit that like button. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the information that we bring to you here on Inside the 49ers with Jack Hammer. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll be talking with you soon. Take care.